Top 10 Best Wicketkeeper Catches in Cricket History Ever Number 10 Mark Boucher took a diving catch to dismiss Sachin Tendulkar in the third ODI of the Future Cup between India and South Africa in Belfast in 2007. The catch was made on the third over of the India innings, with Tendulkar on just eight runs. Tendulkar tried to hit a ball from Micaiah Entini towards the offside, but he only managed to edge it. The ball flew towards the right of the wicket, and Mark Boucher dived full stretch to his right to take a single-hand brilliant catch. Number 9 Dinesh Kartik took a diving catch to dismiss A.B. de Villiers in the first ODI of the Future Cup between India and South Africa in Belfast in 2007. The catch was made on the 13 over of the South Africa innings, with he is on 24 runs. Villiers tried to hit a ball from R.P. Singh towards the offside, but he only managed to edge it. Kartik dived full stretch to his right and took a brilliant catch. Number 8 Alex Stewart took a diving catch to dismiss Nathan Astell in the second test of the England Tour of New Zealand in Wellington in 1997. Nathan Astell tried to hit a ball from Darren Goff towards the offside, but he couldn't manage to it. The ball flew towards the right of the wicket, and Alex Stewart dived full stretch to his right to take a brilliant catch. Number 7. Ridley Jacobs took a diving catch to dismiss Craig Spearman in the first ODI of the West Indies Tour of New Zealand in 2000 at Eden Park, Auckland. The catch was made on the seventh over of the New Zealand innings, with Spearman on 25 runs. Spearman tried to hit a ball from Courtney Walsh towards the offside, but he only managed to edge it. The ball flew towards the right of the wicket, and Ridley Jacobs dived full stretch to his right to take a brilliant catch. Number 6 Romesh Kalyuatharana took a diving catch to dismiss Andrew Hall in the first ODI between Sri Lanka vs South Africa at Jikyaburha in 2000. Hall hit a ball from Nuwan Zoisha high into the air towards the right of the wicket. Kalyuatharana dived to his right and took the catch with his right hand. It was a reminder of Kalyuatharana's class as a wicketkeeper and it helped him to cement his place in the Sri Lankan team. Number 5 Rashid Latif took a diving catch to dismiss Sanath Jayasuriya in the first test of Pakistan's tour of Sri Lanka in 1994. It was a brilliant catch, and it helped Pakistan to win the match. Jayasuriya drove a ball from Wasim Akram towards the cover boundary. But Latif dived full stretch and jumped to air to his left and took a brilliant catch. Number 4 Adam Gilchrist took an outstanding catch in the first test of the 2006 Australia Tour of South Africa at Cape Town. The catch came off the bowling of Stuart Clark. His ability to anticipate the movement of the ball, combined with his lightning-fast glove work, allowed him to complete breathtaking catches that left fans and commentators in awe. Number 3 Kumar Sangakkara took a diving catch to dismiss Cameron Akmal in the second test between Sri Lanka vs Pakistan at Kandy in 2006. Akmal hit a ball from Lasith Malinga high into the air towards the right of the wicket. Sangakkara dived to his right and took the catch with his right hand. It was a reminder of Sangha's class as a wicketkeeper and it helped him to cement his place in the Sri Lankan team.
number two. During the England tour of New Zealand's second ODI at Hamilton in 2008, Brendan McCollum took a remarkable diving catch to dismiss Ian Bell. McCollum, who was positioned behind the stumps, quickly reacted and launched himself to his right, fully stretched out in the air. Number 1 Brad Haddon took a diving catch to dismiss Brendan McCollum in the second ODI between Australia and New Zealand at Auckland in 2010. McCollum hit a ball from Mitchell Johnson high into the air towards the right of the wicket. Haddon dived to his right and took the catch with his right hand. The catch was later named as one of the best catches of the year by ESPN Crickinfo. Number 2 